My name is Buren Fulmer. I'm the Harnett County Ranger with the North Carolina Forest Service. Welcome to Anderson Creek Park. This park is owned by Harnett County. It's 1,100 acres. We have about 650 acres in longleaf. The rest of the park is in a mix of longleaf, loblolly, and hardwood. There's been several fires. In 1982, the entire, wasn't a park then, the entire park area burnt in a very large wildfire in 82. We've had several fires, footprints inside of this property over the years. The last fairly large fire was about 45 acres, and I think that was in 2007. The reason we're burning here is with all the growth and development that has occurred in the last 20 years, especially in Western Harnett County, we've got several large subdivisions that have popped up on the perimeter that back up to the park area. With that, you have more people you have uh, more opportunities for an accidental fire to occur. To the south, we have a very large subdivision, very high density subdivision, 500 plus houses that border up to the park. On the north side of the park, we have some areas that were developed in like five acre lots, the house very wooded, and, and they all bump up to it. So what we were real concerned with, if a fire in the middle of a thousand acres gets to going and builds up a big head of steam and runs into those subdivisions, we need to be proactive and we need to try to reduce that fuel load to prevent a catastrophic fire from occurring. When this park originated, it was several years before the county developed the park and we knew that this area has had a long history of wildfire. So we worked with the park because of the, all the longleaf, we wanted to make sure that we were managing the longleaf properly, which requires fire. And that also helps reduce the risk of wildfire. So I think it was in uh, 2008, 2009 when we started the burning program here. What we normally try to do is burn anywhere between 50 to 100 acres a year inside the park and then try to get that three-year burning regime in the long leaf and, and keep it on that type of rotation. For the last, I think we're on our eighth year that we have received funding through the CWPP program to do control burning here. It's, it's worked out real well for the county. Of course, with burning, there's an expense uh, to get all the equipment, to get the fire lines in, to, to conduct the burn. And that has helped offset the cost and from the county and to make sure that we reduce the fuel load out here. In 2021, in April, we had a wildfire out here at the park. And it was right off the backside of this unit that we're sitting in right now. This unit had been burnt in February of 2021. And so we knew that the fire, was the way the wind was blowing was coming right to this unit that had been burnt. So basically when we went in with our dozer, we took care of the north side of it and just let it continue to burn to the south because we knew that it was eventually going to run into this unit that we had, had just burnt. We knew that there was nowhere, it was not going to advance to the south without running into the units that we had either burnt that year in 2021 or some of the units that we had burned in 2020 in 2019 we knew that you know that it was going to run out of steam you know it was either going to stop because it hit a unit that had been burnt that year or it was going to burn into a unit with reduced fuel load that would be easy for us to wrap it up and put a line around it. I share it with county every year you know about the grants that we've received out here the county parks and rec department that manages the property. They understand the longleaf pine ecosystem and how it works with fire and they really want to maintain that that ecosystem. There's several plants that the Parks and Rec know that is out here and they want to maintain that ecological longleaf restoration program. It makes you feel good that you know you've got stuff in place and you know this is place has always concerned me because it's a park. You've got a trail system them. You've got people out here. You've got people out here on red flag days that are just walking trails. You have kids. You have lots of opportunity for that fire to start and start on a day that's not doesn't have the best conditions. It makes you feel good that you know that it's in an area that's already been treated and is not going to get totally out of control. We do it on private property as well as this one right here in this county. One, to protect their timber investment 
two to help manage their forest for not only timber production, wildlife benefit from the burning and, and stuff like that. It's a beautiful place. It's just amazing to see how that repeated burning, you know, like the stand that we're sitting in, it's really opened up and you, there's a Bachman Sparrow. They've got recordings of it out here and so they want to make sure that that habitat remains out here.